Flexible filament. These days, a lot of people are now wanting to use it, but modern day printers, they are way too fast. And that's where the headache begins. TPU means thermoplastic polyurethane, a flexible polymer, which stays in between a plastic and a rubber. And it's perfect for phone covers, miniature tires, and even shoes. At STL Flix, we have even printed flip-flops. And most recently, Hugo even printed a shoe that he's actually wearing it around. But all this flexibility comes with a price. TPU is way too softer to be printed in high speed. And it's also not compatible with the few multicolor system. When it's time to push the filament, the TPU behaves kind of like a soft spaghetti. Instead of going straight into the hot end, it bends, it tangles, it gets stuck. But fortunately, the newer generations of 3D printers all come with direct drive extruders, which means that the stepper motor is right on top of the hot end, which helps us with this issue of pushing the filament inside. But if you add to that the high speed, even with a good extruder, sometimes it happens that it gets stuck. So I'm gonna show you the first steps that you should adjust before even thinking about using TPU. So write it down because these are important tips. Before printing with any flexible filament, check if your multicolor system is compatible with TPU. And in case it isn't, use the external spool holder. A few examples of multicolor systems that you're not supposed to use with flexible filaments are all versions of AMSs from Bamboo Lab, unless you are using the TPU for AMS, which they also carry Creality CFS and Anycubics Ace. And this happens because inside these multicolor systems, there are a lot of stepper motors that guide the filament until it reaches the hot end. But in one of these turns, it might end up tangling and getting stuck. But on the other hand, there are multicolor systems that are naturally compatible with TPU. Flash Forge's AD5X, for instance, the Prusa XL, and the new Snap Maker U1 that is about to arrive the market. So step number one, as soon as you put your filament on the external spool holder, you need to set your printer and tell it you're putting a flexible, a TPU filament inside. This configuration can be done directly in the printer U1 or in the slicer. And to set it up, all you gotta do is go on device and modify the types of filaments over there. It's currently set to PLA and I'm gonna change it to TPU. And just by doing that, it's gonna make the purge and the flow of stabilization way slower adjusted for TPU. Step number two, on the slicer, we are gonna be using between 220 to 240 degrees Celsius, depending on what the manufacturer tells you to use. And inside STL Flix, we've been using 220. If you use all the settings that we are gonna be showing in this video, most likely it's gonna work for you as well. Next thing you gotta do is you gotta raise the temperature on your print bed as well. We are using 40 degrees Celsius on the PEI sheet and it gets stuck really well. By the way, I recommend you to cool down your printer before removing the piece just so you don't get it damaged. The next step is super important, which is the maximum volumetric speed setting. We are using two cubic millimeters a second. And with this configuration, it already controls all the speeds in the slicer, avoiding the majority of the flaws that you would have with common filament settings. But another super important subject, retraction. TPU hates long retraction. On direct speed printers, we've been using between one to 1.5 millimeters, which is very similar to the values that we we set for PLA. And we've been getting good results using it. But if you've been printing with flexible filament and you have other tips, leave in the comments below. It might help someone else. And to wrap it up, something that has nothing to do with the configuration itself, but it makes all the difference. TPU is a highly sensitive filament. It absorbs moisture really fast, so always keep it on a Ziploc with silica inside. Or if you have it, you can use a filament dryer as well. So comment down below, what was your first experience using TPU? Was it frustrating? Was it a great success? Let us know. To summarize, TPU is not really a headache. With the right configurations, it can give you amazing prints. So that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave suggestions for future videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with whoever is trying TPU. And I'll see you next time.